what's finally up with this? Do you guys remember this one? This is here for a while. But we are back on it. Going to finish it up now. I'm going to show you what we did. Here's a little flashback. important but now we're on it again and <coughs> the plan of course is to quickly finish it a lot of parts came in already did a lot of work as you seen in a little flashback I'll show you some quick details on what we did on the list what I'm going to do in the following episodes really a lot of custom work just to get all the parts I needed to do finished on the engine bay then we're off to the brakes everything is figured out everything is ordered probably in the next week all the parts will be in Hopefully, because it's a little bit of the holiday season, so things are even slower as normal. But, I got a lot of work to do, which I will show you guys and girls, of course. Okay, this is how most of my design process works. I take some cardboard. Put it on the car, in the car, or wherever I want it. I'll sketch something out and then I'll start drawing it in the, into the computer for the water jet or the laser. Sometimes I'll laser cut things first to check it. This is, I know it will be good for sure, so let's go and build it. I got the cardboard scanned in the computer load it in the program so we can make the holes for the oil cooler inserted perfectly so it won't be missed when we cut it sketch in cut now we can go ahead and cut it result of the bracket so we can make the oil lines move away pretty nice to the bottom and then they will just go to the engine right there we will make some new lines these are the old ones just to test fit it see it but here it's hiding
reminds me how long and how difficult these crazy hoses are. The bigger they are, the more difficult they going in. But it's all for the end result, and that is getting those nice hoses on and routing them the way we want them. But as you can see, oh, they are crazy. Always takes a little gym moment. You can see the rubber is all the way to the end. This won't be bending. Easy to get it in the good routing. So I hope we can get this all done. Uh, maybe it's okay. Maybe we can get it in first and then turn it around a little bit. Oh, not too bad. Not too bad at all. And nice, I want them to go flowing like this. Oh, well that's not too bad. Yeah, not so bad. This should be a nice shape. We can make a bracket over here to hold them in place. Alrighty. Then we go off to over there. Now, time to get this one the same route. You can go up over here and with that one together. Give me a little bit length from here. Off. Like this, so there should be a there. Put some tape on. Nice and tight. of clearance everywhere. We're going to make some nice brackets later on. But for the test fitting and the length of the lines, this is sitting kind of perfect. Over here you can see all the custom AN fitting work we did. All the oil cooler lines are in. Over there, of course you guys know, is the alternator now. This Completely hidden. Now that the radiator is finally in, we can start working on that one. Then over there we got the radiator with some small welding parts which we are going to do today. And the list which is growing again on what we need to do. Okay, one of the things I got to work with is there's still the original heater housing inside the car. So these two tubes will come outside of the engine bay but those don't look nice so if you still remember what I did in the oil catch can from carbon fiber I made some tapered thread inside the catch can so I was thinking maybe I can do the same on this side so we can put the AN fittings on and the thing then we can do is probably slice a nice aluminum tube over this plastic and then we can coat that black or paint that black if you slice it on slide connected on the fitting then you got a nice result and you won't even notice it anymore that's one of the ideas I get on where I need to work with the other thing is the heater housing I don't know if you everybody knows it, but you got this 
ugly threads that's coming inside of the engine bay. So I'm going to see if I can make some metric six thread inside the plastics. If that doesn't work, I'll try and glue in some helicoils so we can get some heavy threads in there. I probably, it would just be enough room to make metric six in there. So let's hit it, get some shit done. Just love owning a water jet. Made these custom rubbers where the radiator can sit on. The radiator is in, it is a tight fit and the reservoir opening, it's there as well. But I'm not happy on this yet. This is not how I like it, especially not how it's welded in. I guess I still need to learn things as well because never made radiator, so came up to some points I am not happy about. So I'm going to change this out. The parts arrived today. 
So tomorrow there needs to be a new upload. So that's not going to work. But in the next episode, I'm going to new make a new filler neck for the radiator. That's one point. The other point. Of there, you can see the radiator of the heating. Oh man, that went good. Yes. The parts arriving Monday. So I can finish this as well. It's all blacked out. And when we got the AN fittings in, it's all black everywhere. And of course, how it's bolted now. Yeah, that's how I like it. And it's pretty tight actually. So I probably don't even think we need to put some extra thread in it. So that's going to work out pretty good as well. Then of course, the inlet is almost done. All the parts are prepared to be done. Next up is working with the brakes. The next episode you will see finishing up and mounting everything together on the engine bay, tightening of the belt, finishing up the last lines because they're all there, then the brakes will be on and Project's getting to an end, or at least what I need to do. So I'm pretty happy and stoked about that. So join me on the next episode. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to the channel. I'm getting back into the flow or only building stuff. And there's a new project coming. Yes. And I'm pretty getting pretty booked on air ride installs. So let me know. If you want me to film some air ride installs as well, first up getting this one finished and going to do a lot of work on the Mark III as well. well. Thank you for watching, like and subscribe and put something in the comments. See you all in the next episode.